Hi everybody. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, something something Tuesday. The Violet Envelope Shaper is now 75% off for um, high resolution displays and retinal displays. And that's because um, this is what it looked like. And of course that was not intended on those displays. There was a factor in the code that shouldn't have been there. So I changed it and now it looks like this. And while doing so, I discovered that this scaling, no scaling um, option didn't work in all the plugins, so I fixed that too. But now, let's get to the new plugin, and this is the Black Denoiser Series 2. And of course, that works, as most of the denoisers work. So, um, let's see if I don't have this on, and I play back a section where the singer is not singing. Can we see that here, this range? Um, we would hear something like this. And this gives us minus 58 uh, decibels of level, which is quite low. Um, but no matter what, uh, we can denoise this track so um, we press detect and detect a sample where there is no audio happening that we want to have. So now it's detected. I can reduce that noise sample by, let's say, a factor of two and a half. I reset this meter here and we can see, well, we've won about 20 decibels of um, noise floor, while um, the audio itself seems untouched. And take a look aside. So, without it. And take a look aside. And with the denoiser on. And take a look aside. So, we just reduce the noise floor. In some cases, denoisers can audibly affect the high frequencies. So um, we can preserve the highs uh, with this filter. So we can set the frequency and we can set the gain. So if we boost, we um, preserve highs. But don't get it wrong, we're not boosting the highs in the audio path, we're just preserving them from being affected by the denoiser. The denoiser needs to buffer some audio for, um, for denoising it. And um, that leads to latency issues. So um, this processing thing is um, only on playback by default. So if you're recording or if you're on stop mode um, while you're monitoring a track, maybe the denoising doesn't happen. So you're um, live with your audio and only on playback um, the plug-in delay compensation works. And um, so it's in sync with the other tracks, but it actually introduces some delay. Of course, this scaling thing works here and um, we can type in some values as we know it from the other plugins like this. And maybe a word about this. People ask me um, if I could make it. Um, so you type in a number and hit return and that will set this value. And there's a reason that this is not happening. If we wanted to have this, the plugin would have to take over the complete keyboard input. So all your Reaper shortcuts and stuff wouldn't work as long as you have the plugin visible. And most of the users have their return key for something in, in, in the shortcuts section. So I went for this little green box to click. And of course, as all the plugins in the um, Series 2 um, plugin series, you can um, open multiple instances and just um, sync with um, control on Mac or Windows key on Windows, uh, the plugins. So if you hold control on a Mac, which is my computer, and turn a knob, these will turn together even with an offset. And you can even detect the um, noise floor together for the plugins, which is quite handy, I think. And as with the other Series 2 plugins, we have this grouping thing. So maybe I start a group, group 9, and uh, let me close these again, go back to the mixer um, and delete them. 
and of course we have TCP and MCP support for the um, plugins. So if I close this window here, uh, we can detect uh, from the from the mixer directly in group nine. And now I could drag some plugins. They are all in group nine. So if I click detect on one, they're all detecting together. And this is very useful. Imagine you have some tracks with um, guitars and uh, the amps do some noise, of course. And um, you have one for the left side, one for the right side and, and one additional amp or something like that. You can detect them in a group where the guitar actually isn't playing, where you just have the noise floor for the amp. And then you could also um, adjust the plugins together for this thing. And if you have maybe background vocals, you could use the black denoiser in another group and detect the background vocals together, just them together. And by the way, in opposite to the um, old denoiser plugin I made, um, the black denoiser in series two uh, has the preserve highs thing in the playback section. So you don't need um, to adjust this and detect the noise floor as in the old deesser plugin. Uh, you can now adjust this during the playback. And now, as always, some words about the Series 2 plugins concept. In opposite to the old um, plugins I made, uh, the Series 2 plugins always show um, their parameters in a meaningful order. So we have the mode, which is now in playback and not in detection. We have the noise reduction, the um, high um, preserve high things, uh, the bypass, and um, as always, the bypass, the wet and the delta thing from the um, plug-in window here above. And there will be no don't touch this things anymore. So all these parameters are not only automatical, but they can also be controlled from a controller. So I have a controller here and I can control all these things, even the detect thing and the bypass thing from the controller. And I always try to do them in a order so that you don't have to map your controller yourself. Uh, it will be a sensible order out of the box. So that's it for today. Have fun with the plugins and bye bye.